Hello, everyone. Um, we are given a function f of x, and they're asking you to find out the value of k from this function uh, for which this function f of x is continuous everywhere. So we know the definition of continuity. So for a function f, any given function, to be continuous, we know that the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit must be the same. So you write down the left-hand limit approaches to 1, and the right-hand limit approaches to 1, and then just substitute the value f of x on the left-hand side is this function, and on the right-hand side, the function is kx squared. So now just substitute the limit value on this one, and on this one. So here we are left 7 times 1 is 7, and 7 minus 2 gives us 5. And 1 squared is 1, times k is k. So that gives us k is equal to 5. So when k is equal to 5, the function is continuous everywhere. Okay, in the second part, the function has been changed, and the function now is kx squared. When x is less than or equal to 2, and 2k, 2x plus k, when x is greater than 2. Again, we know that for a function f of x to be continuous, we know that the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit should be the same. So x approaches to 2 from positive side, from negative side, and from positive side should be the same. So when we approach this to 2 from negative side, we have this function. So limit x approaches to 2 from negative side, we have kx squared. And when we approach to 2 from positive side, we have this function. Now apply the limit. So k into 2 squared. And here if you apply the limit, and then we have this. So we have 2 times 2, or 2 squared is 4. So here we have 4k, and here we have 4 plus k. If you take this k to the other side, or if you subtract k on both sides, we would have 4k minus k, 4 plus k minus k. So this gives us 3k is equal to 4. And then divide by 3 on both sides, we have k is equal to 4 over 3. Okay, question number 30, it's part A, says that f of x is 9 minus x squared when x is greater than or equal to minus 3, and k divided by x squared when x is less than minus 3. So again, for the function f of x to be continuous, we have that the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit are the same. This is one of the properties, so we can use this one to find out k. Here, limit x approaches to 3 from negative side is the function. Now here is k over x squared. And the limit x approaches to 3 from the positive side, the function here is 9 minus x squared. Apply the limit. So we have that k over 3 square, and here 9 minus 3 square. So we can see from this side that this is 9 minus 9, and 9 minus 9 is 0. So k over 9 is equal to 0. This means that k is equal to 0. So when you have k is equal to 0, the function is continuous everywhere. Okay, in part b, we have the same question, only the limiting value has been changed to x greater than 0 and x less than, greater than or equal to 0 and x less than 0. For a function to be continuous, the left-hand limit and right and limit must be equal if they exist. So the left hand limit here is this one.
and the right hand limit here is we can see that the left hand limit this is 1 over 0 which is undefined so the left hand limit does not exist so no k values in question number 30 we have to find out the value of k and m for this piecewise function where you have x greater than or equals to greater than minus 2 and x between minus 1 and 2 and x less than minus 1 so again for the function to be continuous the left hand limit and right hand limit must be equal so what we can use it we can use either of the um, point uh, minus 1 or uh, minus 2 or 2 sorry minus 2 sorry, 2 so we can use either of the two points 2 or minus 1 so if you use minus 1 so x limit x approaches to minus 1 from left side and x approaches to minus 1 from right side of the function so from left hand side we have this function and from right hand side we have this function now substitute the limiting values and in this one too, we can you see that the minus 1, 3 times gives us minus into 2, minus 1, minus 2. And this minus 1 as it is, plus 7. And this minus 1, plus 1 gives you 0, 0 times anything is 0. So we have the k value is equals to 4. Now to find out the value of m, we have k is equals to 4 now. So we can find the value of m by... Again, using the function, when the function is continuous, the left hand and right hand limit would be equal. So from 2, uh, on the right side of 2, the function is this one, and the left side of 2, the function is this one. So limit x approaches to 2 from left side, the function is m into x plus 1 plus k. And instead of k, I will just write down the value 4, because we already know that thing. And then the limit x approaches to 2 from positive side. The positive side is x squared plus 5. Now apply the limiting value to, and here also, 2 squared plus 5. That gives us 3m. And if we take the 4 to the other side, this gives us 4 plus 5 and this 4 goes to the other side gives us minus 4 so this 4 and minus 4 cancel out we have m is equals to 5 over 3 thank you very much